Are you in the mood for a puzzle? Then here's five things I think you need to know about Exit, the Catacombs of Horror. Hi guys and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we're here to offer you insight and information about your board games. So a little bit of a heads up, I've never played an Exit game before, this is my very very first one. So in part this review will be of the Exit idea I suppose of games and also of this game specifically. Secondly I'm going to point out that I won't be giving away any spoilers so you can watch this review in the safety of knowing that I won't ruin it for you. Okay so into the game. Exit the Catacombs of Horror from Cosmos Games is a cooperative puzzle game for one to four players. The Exit theories are a group of games which are one-off puzzle adventures. Now I'm not going to give away any specifics about this particular game but I will tell you that it centres around finding your missing friend Ben who has left you a pile of undecipherable clues as to his whereabouts. You win the game if you succeed in rescuing Ben. This game consists of a variety of puzzles which test not only your deductive nature but also your creativity and your ingenuity. Each riddle is unique and you'll often have to solve multiples before being able to progress with the storyline. You get clues to go with each riddle and if you get stuck there are help cards to give you a hand. On a whole this is the kind of game where you want to keep your wits about you and pay attention. Similar games to Exit the Catacombs of Horror. While it definitely reminds me of Time Stories, which is, you know, a similar scenario where you're furthering a story by solving puzzles. However, I do think the riddles that are in the Exit game are much more varied, but on a whole it's definitely harsher with you when you make mistakes. Setup is non-existent as you simply use what's available in the box. You do require some additional items such as pencil, paper, scissors, but the rule book lists all of those. When it comes to rules, well, there's nothing really to learn. You simply follow the steps that are on your card and your own gut instinct. This particular adventure is split into two, so you could stop and take a break in the middle if you felt like it. On a whole, it took four hours or thereabouts for two of us to play this. Um, but because it's a puzzle game, you could leave it set up and walk away and think about it a little bit more, meaning you can become as involved or make the game as long as really suits you. This game can only be played once, so replayability wise, it's non-existent. Aesthetics wise, the art fits the theme nicely, but most of it has a functional use rather than something to be appreciated. Now, this is a game that uses a lot of text and I really appreciated the tone in which it was written and the fact that I wasn't bombarded with it either. Um, component wise, most of these pieces are just utilitarian pieces. However, there are a couple that are incredibly clever and very well made. What's so special about Exit the Catacombs of Horror? Well, this is the first Exit game I've ever played and I was entirely blown away by the ingenuity and the variety and the type of puzzles I got inside this box. To be fair, it made for a pretty special gaming experience. So, how do I really feel about Exit the Catacombs of Horror? Firstly, the negatives. Um, we found that some of the answers required could be a little over specific or maybe pernickety. Um, oftentimes we found that we would have the answer in front of us, just not in the format the game wanted it, so we weren't succeeding as well as we'd liked. Um, but I would like to point out that if you're familiar with these games, and I think you've done other ones, you'll get into that kind of swing of things knowing the way the game wants your answer presented. So this seems to just perhaps be something that comes up when you're playing this for the first time and trying to narrow down the parameters of what it is, you know, the, the game wants. Um, second issue I have is the fact that this game is supposed to come with an app. It's on the back of the box. Um, it's also in the rule book. And I went to the app store and there is no app for this particular game. Maybe that will change soon. Um, a little disappointed. It means I can't comment on the quality of the app in the first place. But I also just wanted to know what was in it. The positives. So since I can't actually tell you anything about you know what's in the game itself. The best I can do is highlight the quality of the puzzles. Um, I don't know what I anticipated when opening this box, but I got a ton more than I had even hoped for. Um, they really are very clever and very fun and interesting. And there's just such a variety of them. Um, I think that's really something that makes this game stand out. Second of all, I love the fact that there is a help button because you know what? Not everybody, myself included, is good at riddles or puzzles. So at each step of the way for you know each um, puzzle you're working on, there are three hint cards. And so as you get stuck, you can take a card. And 
I think it really opens up this genre to people who don't normally do puzzles because no matter what happened here, I knew I could always get to the end. Now, what kind of score I got, it's a completely different matter. But I think it's important to feel included and that you were never going to sit there and be entirely lost for ages, right? That there was always a way out. And I personally really, really appreciated that. The final point, and it's the major point here, is this is a great event game. This is the kind of game you want to play on a rainy Sunday, af Sunday afternoon um, with a group of friends um, and try and like solve mysteries, solve puzzles. Um, and not only that, but this game doesn't have a rule book doesn't even have a setup. All you have to do is arrive at your box and go, okay, let's play. And I think that's fantastic for new people to the hobby. Do I think you should have Exit the Catacombs of Horror in your collection? Well, if you're looking for something cooperative to play, um, possibly as an event game, you know, on a quiet afternoon, you like solving puzzles, or you forgot any of the previous Exit titles, then this game really just does tick a lot of boxes. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't overly enthused about playing this, but consider me a convert, it was a hell of a lot of fun to play. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. If you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about the Catacombs of Horror or any exit game, why not leave a comment in the box below. If you'd like to do something nice, you could like or subscribe to the channel or tell a friend I exist because, you know, the more the merrier. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions and of course perusing my collection. Take care.